Hi kids, it's me, your rich mom. Today I want to give you guys a little tour of my vanity where I keep all of my favorite beauty products and where I get ready for the day. This is my custom built-in vanity. It's quite simple. First of all, this mirror is game-changing. My closet is very dark and it keeps it very light and bright. I like to keep all of my favorite fragrances out. This is a photo of me and my mom. My mom is beauty obsessed and that is where I got it from. My mini Dior candle, isn't it so cute? My Louis Vuitton candle, my Vuitton fragrance holder, my Vuitton jewelry holder, my one-of-a-kind Chriselle Lim Barbie that Mattel made for me. And Chloe and Colette are always with me no matter what. Mattel made these one-of-a-kind Barbies of my kids. Aren't they beautiful? With my job, I get a lot of products to try out. So they first end up here, but then once they pass the test, they end up in here. This is my approved makeup beauty products. Things in my mom's closet that just makes sense, castle edition. Behind every curtain is clothing, shoes, and accessories. When in a castle, you need gown options, trench coats, obviously your blouses, sweaters, sportswear, and tank tops. Let's not forget your suit sets, puffers, shorts, jackets, and jeans. Like for part two to see more. Things in my average sized shared walk-in closet that just make sense. I've worked retail before and I love having stacked clothes so I built these adjustable shelves. I put our belts in glass jars because I like how they look displayed and it keeps the leather protected. Small baskets on the counter keep little items like scarves and masks tidy. And then the larger baskets up top are for things that we don't use quite as often. Perfumes and colognes have their own place in the corner and I kept one counter open so I can fold clothes there. Long hanging items like my dresses and coats go on one side and my husband's dress shirts and suits are on the other. He has a lot of ties and likes to keep them tied, so I came up with this idea to hang them using shower curtain rings. More t-shirts and workout clothes are organized in these drawers and also in another dresser in our room. And if we run out of space down here, there's always the hidden attic entrance for seasonal items. You can see how I built this closet and the before in my feed. Closet. Oh, closet. That's the space in your room where you put clothes in, right? Yeah, I don't really have one of those. But I do have this little spot in my bedroom. And a hallway. Oh, wait, yeah. I also have a whole ass living room.
I got asked this question a lot on my last closet transformation video, where the heck is this girl keeping all of her clothes? So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you. I wanted to DIY my own industrial clothing rod, so I took my dad over to Lowe's. We went to the PVC pipe section, which is in the plumbing area. They're really inexpensive and fairly easy to do. You just need to make sure you have a lot of support on your wall. And we did decide to spray paint them gold. This is the best spray paint I have ever used. I swear by it. It creates the most beautiful finish. Once we got them all spray painted, it was time to hook them together. A lot of the parts screw onto each other. To be honest, you can just YouTube how to do this. That's exactly what I did. This is how it turned out. I love the look, but I am going to add extra support in the middle and also gluing the pipes together I think will help a lot to make sure everything is secure since clothes can be really heavy. I also got some new velvet hangers, which are really pretty. They're white and I think they're going to look great with all my clothes. Follow me for more ideas. You guys asked for closet organization, so that's exactly what I'm going to give you. Look at this crazy disaster. I have been wanting to redo my closet for so long, and now is the perfect time. Clearly, this space needed a complete makeover, but I'm working on a budget, so we headed over to Ikea. I wanted the pack system, but it's super expensive, so I found these Billy bookcases, which are way more affordable. I purchased one large billy and two smaller ones to create my own pack system that's going to fit perfectly on the back wall. Once we got home, I got straight to work by removing everything from the closet. Then I wanted to take off the metal shelves from the walls. This was a lot of work. I definitely underestimated it. Then me and my mom hauled all of the bookcases up and my mom was so gracious and helped me put them together. I tried a drill and screwdriver and those were taking me forever. So I decided to hammer them off, which I know is not the right way to do it, but it worked since the whole wall is going to be covered anyways and I did spackle to cover up the holes. There is a ton of work left to be done, as you can tell, so like and follow for part two. Here's part two of my closet organization. My mom has put together so many Billy bookcases over the years. I think she's at 10 now, so she's basically a professional. Once we got them all done, we put them in the closet. I asked my dad to come over to install them to the wall, and I got to painting. I painted the closet white because I wanted it to look really bright when you walked in. I clearly missed the wall. <laughs> I decided that the back left wall needed something, so I got this peel and stick removable wallpaper. It's really pretty, and you can get it at Target. It is $34, so it's kind of expensive. I didn't love that part of it but I think it looked really nice once it was all done. I then thought it would be super cool to DIY our own industrial clothing rods using PVC pipe. I took my dad and he knew all of the necessary parts to get. We were originally going to go with metal but these ones were so much cheaper and we're going to spray paint them gold so they'll look really nice. This is the progress we have so far. It's coming together so don't forget to like for part three. Welcome to part three of my closet makeover. I'm going to show you guys how I took this crazy disaster and turned it into this beautiful space using budget-friendly products. When working with a small space, you want to come up with creative solutions to make as much storage as possible while also hiding clutter. So we got these attachable doors to the Billy bookcases and added them on. We also got a shelf for the right wall. That way I can put baskets on top and fill them with whatever I want. Everything I've mentioned so far has been from Ikea, and honestly, I've saved so much money because pack systems can run you anywhere from $500 to $1,000, so this is the perfect solution for me. Honestly, when I walk into my closet, I want it to be an experience like I'm walking into a store, so I'm happy with how it has come together so far, but there are still so many details to share with you all, so like this if you want to see part four. I'm pretty disappointed because I hit a few roadblocks today, but I'm going to come up with a solution and share it with you guys soon, so stay tuned.
for a tour of my 1950s closet. So here we are inside the closet. I collect a lot of dresses, tops, and shoes. I absolutely love shoes, you guys. Hats, bags, and scarves. So here are some of my dresses. This one is my favorite because it was by the same designer that designed for Marilyn Monroe. As you guys know, I love belts. I put them with all my outfits. Here are some 1950s original hats, and these shoes are the funniest knockoffs ever. I keep these drawers full of my tops, my shorts, my skirts, and my capris. I love collecting lots of colors. Thanks for watching.